share this very special occasion. It warms my heart because I know what this man means to me and I hope I can talk <laughs> and say what I want to say. But your being here is evidence that he means a lot to a lot of people. And um, I have in a journal that I've written weeks ago, and I just want to share this, that what Dad is to me, he is strong. And of course, he's always been physically strong, but not just his physical strength, but his spiritual strength, the faith that he has taught us has served us so well, and I know will continue to serve us so well. He made a living right here. He's lived right here on this piece of land for 80 years. And there's not many people that can say that. He has made his living farming and ranching. And just the faith that it took to put those tiny seeds in the ground, which some of you men and women still do, the faith that it takes to put those seeds in the ground and expect to make a living out of it. It was a life that has been independent, but at the same time, totally dependent on God and totally dependent on God providing the moisture, the right kind of weather, and just the faith and the strength to see him through that. So a life of independence with total dependence. Good job, Chris. I love and admire yeah. him dearly. And I just thank you for being here to share his 80th birthday with us. And I want to ask him to bless our food and then invite everybody to please eat. Yes, ma'am. Gracious Heavenly Father, we're indeed thankful for this beautiful day that you've given us to enjoy. And Father, I thank you for my family, for my friends, my neighbors have showed their respect in coming out this day and I pray a blessing on each home that's represented here, Lord. And I thank you for living in a country that we are free to worship our God as we see fit. Thank you for your love and for your